Video games have claimed hours of the lives of many young men. Particularly culpable is the notorious game World of Warcraft. Not now for a lot of people, rather. A gaming addiction is something, of course, to be ashamed of, or maybe to be kept under wraps. But a student from Farnham has turned his computer game obsession into a success by making a film about it. Anthony Rosner uh, has made a seven-minute documentary. It's gone viral on YouTube and has now received almost 300,000 hits. Take a quick listen to just a small part of the film. I'm Severin. I'm a level 85 Blood Elf Paladin. I'm a Grand Crusader, and I'm a proud member of the Horde. In my spare time, I like to ride around on my Spectre Tiger and stand around in Ogrima. I have killed the Leech King. I am a Law Master. I have over 9,000 achievements. Over 160 pets. Over 125 pounds. Exalted with 50 factions. Master Chef. I have a Raven I'm Lord. I'm an Explorer. Marnie Five Protodrakes. 16 Dragons. Musical Realm First. Celestial Light Dragon. Dawn, Achieved. Star Killed. Killed. Exalted. Defeated. Conquered. And I enjoy long walks on the beach. All right, 7.27, let's talk to Anthony, who's on the line to me now. Morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Where, where did the idea come about in the first place? Well, where do I begin? My name is Anthony. I enjoy playing video games, making movies, and of course, World of Warcraft. I started playing Warcraft way back in 2005. I used to play it on and off, just like any other game. I was a high school student at the time and I mainly focused on studying film as I've always wanted to work in the film industry. Then the Burning Crusade happened. You are not prepared. I certainly wasn't prepared. I started a new character, Severin. As I leveled up, I made new friends and I was introduced to raiding. I had never raided before. I had no idea you could be in large groups with your friends, killing some of the toughest bosses in the game. And the best bit? You'd get powerful gear that makes your character even stronger. However, I wanted more. I wanted to run my own guild. And so, QT Yacht Club was born. The guild started off nicely. I set up a website, I was inviting new members, and organising raids. At school, I was struggling to keep focused. My mind was always thinking of Warcraft. Even my online friends felt more important to me than my real friends. However, despite all of this, I managed to get the grades I needed to study film at university. You shall be king. A new expansion was announced. I couldn't abandon my guild, not now. Not with a new expansion coming out. I wasn't in the right frame of mind to start university, so I took a year out and chose to focus on my guild. My guild were getting pretty good. We were killing tougher bosses and progressing through different raids. Some of these raids took weeks to complete, but when we defeated them, that sense of achievement was quite something. Ten percent. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. In the game, he looked like this. In real life, he was becoming this. I had spent a whole year focused on my guild, and as a result, I didn't do much else. However, with university starting, I made the decision to focus on making a fresh start. University started off just how I imagined. I was making films, going out, meeting new people. I hadn't touched Warcraft in over a month, and it seemed my days of playing were behind me. A new expansion was announced. It looked really awesome. The desire to play overcame me. I had to play it. I had to be there. But at what cost? At university I was failing. 
I allowed Warcraft to take priority that I neglected everything else. Here I was at university, here to study film, the thing I've always wanted to do, and I was on the edge of losing it all. I was about to be kicked out of university. I had a choice to make. I couldn't give up my future, so I made a difficult decision to disband my guild. People were upset. This was their community as much as my own, but I couldn't leave it knowing the temptation was still there to keep on playing. It had to go. I had been playing for over six years. I had invested so much time and money into the game. It was difficult. This was part of me. Severin had become part of me. I had to quit the game if I was to save myself. I left Severin, frozen in time, forever watching the world go on around him. But I couldn't bring myself to delete him. After a lot of hard work, finally, I graduated. I made an effort to change other aspects of my life too. I started working out, I was a lot more social, and generally a much happier person. Ironically, I couldn't have graduated without my experiences in Warcraft. I made a short film about it called IRL. It was seen by over one million people worldwide. Are you amazed by the success of this film? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't expect it to reach this uh, many views in this short time. And, and, and just, just finally, you know, back where we started really on this, I mean, the interest has been phenomenal. Uh, you're due to appear on telly in Australia. You're about to hear the voice of young Anthony Rosner. And you've also been asked to fly to the US, haven't you? Yes, um, I'm off to the Phoenix Comic Con convention in uh, Arizona to uh, showcase my film there. So. so with Aaron and Dave, who helped on the film, the three of us flew off to Phoenix. I was living my dream. I was showing my film at Comic-Con in another country. Phoenix. Yeah. The gentleman here came all the way out from the UK. Here we have Dave and Aaron and Anthony. This is his film that he put together. We had a lot of fun in Phoenix, seeing the world and we got to meet some new people. But I didn't really want to go home. Addiction is defined as the state of being enslaved to a habit or practice to such an extent that its removal causes severe trauma. Was I really addicted to Warcraft? I don't know. All I know is that I felt the need to be online to run my guild. I had to make sure that it was running smoothly and that we was killing bosses during our raids. Being the guildmaster, I was the leader of this small social community and as a leader I had to take charge. In a way you could say I treated it like a full time job and at times it felt exactly like that. For my kind, the true question is what is worth fighting for. A new expansion was announced. I know what you're thinking. And yes, I started playing again. But this time, it was different. I am no longer Severin. That chapter of my life is over. I have explored new worlds. I'm part of a new guild. I even reached level 90. But unlike before, I don't feel the need to play. It isn't something I need to do. I believe I can enjoy this game for what it is, just like any other game, playing casually and enjoying it in moderation. I don't blame Warcraft for my problems. It's a beautifully crafted game where I've shared many amazing experiences with people, some who I am not ashamed to call my friends, and some who I've met in real life. 
My priorities have shifted. I now focus on the things that matter to me, the things that are important in my life. It's important to maintain a balance between your life and the things you enjoy. I can play games if I want to, even games like Warcraft. They don't have to control what I do. I just have to make sure the important stuff always comes first. Gaming is just one form of entertainment. I don't need anything from it, but I enjoy it, and that is perfectly healthy. I get to immerse myself into new worlds, characters and stories. It's a powerful art form. Being a gamer is part of my identity. And it's just one chapter of a bigger story. My story.